As expected, the big state of the game update for the month of September has finally arrived. Just one business day later than I had predicted. There's good stuff for all versions of Terraria, and so I'll get right to it. They began. Greetings Terrarians, welcome to the latest Terraria community update on development progress across all active platforms. Fall is, hopefully, just around the corner, bringing with it cooler temperatures, but things are as hot as ever on the Terraria development front. That's a little corny. <laughs> anyway, carrying on, lots of progress is being made across every platform, so hang on, enjoy the ride, and read on for all of the latest Terraria news. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Hey Terraria fans on the PS4 X1. And they shared this. And with this image they wrote the following. We're just finishing up on porting 1.3.4 to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And Relogic has started their review pass for quality. That means that we may have some additional bugs to address, but the 1.3.4 content is in the game and ready for testing. So we're on the home stretch. As soon as we have a chance to finish a quality assessment and a bug fix with Relogic, we'll look to get this submitted and downloaded on your consoles. No promises on date and time, but we'll let you know when it's ready to go. That's certainly excellent news for PS4 and Xbox One owners who play Terraria. You're nipping at the heels of the PC version at this point. Moving along to the other console, Switch. They wrote, good news Switch fans, the 1.3.1.1 port is nearly complete. And with that they shared this image of a character fishing, and with it they wrote, Thanks to the work we already put in on PS4 Xbox One, this did not take as long as we had expected, and we're pretty happy with the results. We're still working at additional features like adding proper touch support for the Grand Design Multicolor Wrench. We also have a few bugs left to address, as well as a review pass by Relogic. Then we'll look to get this submitted to Nintendo and in your hands. Thanks for your patience. And so that's very encouraging if you play on the Switch that the work that Pipeworks has done for the other consoles seems to make progress faster than it otherwise would have been on the Switch. I know it's a little different and it has a touch screen, it's a hybrid console, but it sounds like they're making good progress on that, so that's excellent. But moving along to the mobile version, they had this to say. Let's see, what happened in the world of mobile Terraria since the last state of the game? Oh, that's right, we launched Terraria 1.3 for Android and iOS. In case you missed that for some crazy reason, check out our launch thread here. And I'll include that link in the video description. They continued, Since launch, we have been hard at work on post-launch fixes and responding to player feedback including the return of optional legacy jump controls and auto swing. If you want to see what all has been addressed since launch, keep a close eye on the fixes change log thread linked below. And again, I'll include a link to this in the video description. We should have at least one more fix round coming your way in the next week or two. This one is primarily targeted toward issues that players on very low spec devices may be having in regards to crashing and the like. Of course, it will have the usual suite of other fixes, but we wanted to let those low-end players know that some relief may be on the way soon. All of this is in the testing and review process internally at the moment, so we do not have an exact timing to give you, nor the extent of things it will cover just yet. As it is our hope that this fix wave, otherwise known as 1.3.0.7.5, will be the final one for launch before we move on to the often mentioned controller support customizations feature update. It is our current plan to submit this version of Terraria Mobile 1.3 to Amazon for approval. This is subject to change should other critical issues arise, but this is certainly the plan. To whet your appetite, we wanted to share some more Amazon info with you, and they say a picture is worth a thousand words, right? they shared this animation. 
So that's probably a sight for sore eyes if you have a Fire tablet or other Amazon powered mobile device. So looks like relief is on the horizon and you'll get to play Terraria Mobile soon enough if you're on an Amazon device. Moving along to the PC version, they shared this image. Rather curious, it includes a new pet and of course a new costume as well. They wrote, the PC dev team is hard at work on a number of very cool and even more top secret things for the upcoming Journey's End update. So no, we will not be speaking to any of that this month. However, we are not empty handed. We wanted to share a quick shot of a brand new dev armor set coming your way. And again, it's this image that I've already shared. With it, they wrote, whose dev armor could this be? Any guesses? Now, if you have a guess, just as an aside, be sure to post it in the comments section. They carried on. Oh, and it looks like a new furry friend has tagged along as well. How cute. Until mo next month, Terrarians, keep watching and waiting for more news along the path to Journey's End. And so that was it in terms of content updates, but they did include one final section in their state of the game update featuring the community, which includes of course the official forums and Terraria Discord. With that, they wrote, greetings Terrarians. We have some big news and events to share on the community side of things this month. So without further ado, let's dive in. And they had this neat graphic. They wrote, the past few months have been busy for Terraria, with updates and releases for console, Switch, and mobile, as well as more updates coming for all platforms as we head to Journey's End. We haven't forgotten that Terraria community farms need some love and attention as well, and we've been working behind the scenes to make that so. As we explained with the last major update, while we currently have a stable base for the forum, it will be passing into a non-support mode at the end of this year. Thus, we are taking a big step to upgrade the forum software now so that we have the maximum support and can provide the best experience possible for the community going forward. We have scheduled these updates to occur on the 26th of September 2019 at 9am Greenwich Mean Time. The site will be down for several hours starting at that time. For more complete details on what is coming your way soon, check out the thread linked here. And I'll include this link in the video description. And uh, this was followed by more discussion on their part of Terraria Discord, which apparently recently had over 50,000 concurrent users. That's pretty incredible. That's a lot of people. Also included are details on how to be part of the Terraria community team if you're interested in that. I'll include a link to the overall post in the video description below. And also I'd like to welcome Criddle, Darth Morph, and Kazimodas, who are the three new members for the official forum staff. So welcome to all three of those. I've quoted Criddle before based on uh, some helpful statements Criddle has made on the Terraria Discord. Things are certainly progressing well for Terraria on a broad front. Consoles, Switch, PC, and mobile are all getting some form of work done on them. And PS4 and Xbox One are, as I mentioned earlier, nipping at the heels of the PC version with this 1.3.4 patch coming out very soon, apparently. And I have to say that the Switch and mobile versions are progressing nicely as well. I'm really eager for this Journey's End update. It seems every time they talk about it, they reveal something new that they're throwing into the game. But we're just going to have to sit and wait patiently for a release date on that. The year is obviously quickly coming to a close. And so with any luck, they'll have finished development of the update before the next three months pass. But really, there's no telling. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for staying and watching, and I'll see you next time.